Hello and welcome to another video demonstrating one of the simulations I wrote uh, to help me when I was teaching type courses for various platforms. Today we're going to look at the video and the simulation for the 139 rotor brake system that I used when I was teaching and again like my other systems it's been created using Excel VBA. So when we click into the picture, as you see, it goes to full screen. Um, at the moment, the aircraft is landed, it's on the ground. We've got weight on the wheels, the engines are switched off, and there's pressure in the rotor brake system. Like my other simulations, I've got some little links in here, which allows me to take, uh, to take the student to pictures to show various components around the aircraft and here we can have a little a button which links us to the schematic itself uh, as it is in the manuals um, I, because this was one of my early ones I struggled to work out how to have everything happen on one simulation including the faults so I did it by two pages so this one is the main system but this one is where all the faults are you can see the buttons down the side um, can replicate uh, it, what happens when the caliper fails in the down position, in the up position, when the handle is out of position and when the pads stick. Coming back to the main picture then we've got a link to the location to show where components are on the aircraft again using drawings from the AMM and here we've got a little description with the abbreviations for all of the components um, that we will find in the system. Coming back then, so we can just turn off the little icon to clear this up a little bit. And as I said, at the moment we're sat there, we've got power on, and we've got the rotor brake in the on position. So if we turn the rotor brake off, we can see that the val outlet valve opens, the pressure inside the system dissipates, and the pads withdraw from the disc. So what we need to do now then is to start the helicopter up and lift off and we'll see what happens then. So we click on the button, you can see as soon as we turn one of the engines to the idle position to start the run, the shut off valve opens to dump any residual pressure and at the same time the relay box signals the actuator to withdraw the caliper from the rotor disc. What happens then is we carry on with the normal start until both engines are up and running in the flight position and you have noticed that the wow switch has gone out uh, indicating that we are now in the air. When the pilot comes back in we've got a little button here which says land and shut down and it does exactly what it says on the tin so when we press that we land we get a weight on wheel signal and then the two engines will shut down As soon as one engine goes to off, we get an off signal from engine number two, then we get an off signal from engine number one. The relay box signals a shut off valve to go to the closed position, and at the same time, the actuator moves the caliper to the up position. We can then put the parking brake on, yeah, so we put some pressure into the system and the pads bind onto the disc, and then if we put it into park, I we give it a couple of pumps, you'll see that the pressure in the accumulator increases, the pressure on the display increases until it's in the park position and we can lock the handle. That's basically the rotor brake system in normal operation. And when we go to the faults, we've got several that can bring up a caption. So initially if it fails in the down position, so we click down what happens is the engines, both engines have got a off signal and inside 10 seconds the rotor brake control box should signal or the actuator should get a signal to say that the caliper has come up. If we don't you saw the uh, rotor brake caption come up there. Similarly with a f if it fails in the up position. So we're in the up position okay we go to start one of the engines okay and then we've got this 10 second window in which case the actuator should move 
the caliper to the down position. If it doesn't, we get a rotor brake caption. Okay, the next one to look at is a handle. So in this instance, we're running, both engines are running, and you can see that the handle is out of position, so the control lever position switch sends a signal to the relay box if it's out of position and we get a caption. And the last one is the pads. So if the pads fail to release, again we get a signal from the micro switch coming up to the relay box, rotor brake caption comes on. Okay, so that is my simulation of the Augusta Westland 139 rotor brake system. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.